For this video, we will learn how to add decimals with regrouping. Just like in the earlier video, I will show you how to do it using the Place Valley Disk app, and then afterwards, I will show it using arithmetic. Now, for our first equation right here, it's 5 tenths plus 7 tenths. Let us um, visualize it first. 5 tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 7 tenths 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay well you can just simply count all of it that would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 giving you an answer of 12 tenths okay 12 tenths now that 12 tenths our answer 12 tenths Okay. We know that um, this 12 tenths, okay, can we um, create or can we form a whole number using this 12 tenths right here? Well, we can actually uh, show that using this one. Let's see if we can form any. Yes, we are able to form one whole and two tenths, okay? Because again, 12 tenths is also equal to one whole and two tenths or one and two tenths. So our final answer would be one and two tenths or 12 tenths. Now, how do I add this using arithmetic? Just like uh, what I've been saying in the earlier video, don't forget to align your place values. So 5 tenths plus 7 tenths. 5 plus 7. 5, uh, 5 tenths plus 7 tenths is 12 tenths. So the 2 tenths will go here. And the remaining 10 tenths would create 1 whole. Which I will regroup there in the ones place and that would now be one and two tenths all right now let's move to letter b for letter b we have two and eight tenths plus twenty two hundredths let's try to visualize that again using this app so two and eight tenths is two ones and eight tenths one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and twenty-two ones, uh, twenty-two hundreds rather, is two tenths, okay, two tenths and two hundreds. Now, if I would like to add the two values together, um, I can simply count two ones. And then we have 10 tenths, and then we have 2 hundredths, okay? But adding this first, okay, starting from the smallest place value, that would be hundredths, 1, 2 hundredths. So that's 2 hundredths, and then for the tenths right here, okay, this tenths right there, the brown ones, if I'm going to add it, let's see if I will be able to create or regroup it. Okay, because there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 altogether. And those 10, just like what we've learned uh, before, the 10 tenths can create 1 once. And that would now be, let's regroup it. Yes, it can create one once. So it will now be one, two, three ones. So our final answer would be three and two tenths. If I am going to show it using the arithmetic, that would simply be two and eight tenths plus twenty two hundredths. Once again, please notice how I placed the numbers should be aligned okay the place value should be aligned and if it would help you you can always put a zero placeholder right there so that you won't get confused now zero hundreds plus two 
hundreds is um, two hundreds. And then we move to the tenths place. So eight tenths plus two tenths would now give you ten tenths, which again can make one whole. So ten tenths, that would be zero here. And then regroup one whole right there. So 2 plus 1 would now give you 3. So our final answer would be 3 and 2 hundredths. And that's how you